Hey guys and welcome, it's Regan. We're here today. We're going to be talking about the next Call of Duty. In particular, we're going to talk about Call of Duty Advanced Warfare and we're going to talk about the third mode. So by this, I mean we're going to be talking about the co-op mode. So we've seen zombies and all that stuff and we'll get into that in a minute. If you guys do enjoy, like would be awesome and support as well. Leave your comments to see which mode you like to see and if there's any I haven't covered, you can add them as well. Or you can say one of the ones I've said and just say, oh, I like this idea or I'd like this one. You know, something like that. Um, if you guys want to check out any of the, any of the other videos or want to see what Advanced Warfare is about, if you haven't seen it where have you been but um there's been videos on my channel so you guys can go and check them out if you want to but today we're going to talk about the third mode like i said so let's look at the history of call of duty quickly so the history of call of duty is kind of a bit you know well the co-op mode always links into the actual story and the campaign and the main theme of the game so we've had co-op modes since model uh, sorry since world at war it started with zombies and i'll get onto that in a second so it was kind of likely that we'd be getting a cult mode anyway i in my original video of this which i had to redo because we've got some new information i thought maybe there might not be a cult mode there should be but there might not be because they're spending too long on the actual game with the campaign and multiplayer they might not do a third mode but they'd have it's been confirmed if i can find the tweet i'll put it on screen saying that there's the third mode it's been confirmed we definitely gonna have a third mode by the way guys this is just a theory video so anyone watching saying this sucks, this is not true. If you're watching this in the future or anything, this is just a theory. So I'm sorry I like doing these videos. I'm, you guys like watching these videos as well. So I'm just doing it as a theory. So with that said in mind, let's get into it. So like I already said, the theory, so um, the story links into it. So co-op's being confirmed. The story links into the co-op mode. Now in World at War was the first time we got like a co-op mode. And it was kind of a bit hidden. It was like at the end of the game when you completed it, you get it. Um... Nazi zombies and Nazi zombies links in quite well, obviously, because you've got Nazis in Germany and stuff, which is quite a powerful country and organize not organization, but you know, leaders and stuff. Um, which le linked in at the time with all the world at war with all the different countries fighting and stuff that linked in quite well. And then you had zombies, I don't know why the zombies, I don't know why they thought of it, whoever thought of it, absolute genius. They should be a billionaire by now if they're not already. So, after World at War, we obviously had Modern Warfare 2, and this was quite an awesome game i really do like it It was the game that hooked me it had spec ops i absolutely loved spec ops i don't know why it's just something drew me into it i loved it but after you played them and you completed all the stars it's a bit boring so i don't really like playing that game and then black ops 1 came out it continued zombies but there wasn't nazi zombies it was just normal zombies this time so it was no longer called nazi zombies now whether that could be because the term nazi could be considered slightly offensive in some certain world or country or anything i don't know or whether it's just because it's not no longer to do with Nazis, it's away from that, it's to do with other countries. Um, most of the campaign was to do with Russia and stuff instead, so that's why they got rid of the term Nazi. I don't know, but it's not Nazi zombies anymore, it's just zombies. So then in Modern Warfare 3, we had Spec Ops, but we also had a new mode called Survival, which was basically like zombies but with people, and you had money and boxes to buy stuff from, rather than this supernatural kind of weapons and stuff that we have in zombies, which is pretty awesome, like the ray gun and paralyzer, all that stuff. We don't have that in the real kind of games like Modern Warfare 3 and stuff, we had these boxes and stuff, so we bought all that, st so that was the Spec Ops mode and the survival mode, and then Black Ops 2 we had Zombies again, it was better, we had buildables and stuff, that was pretty awesome, and then finally, we had Ghosts, where we had something new called Extinction, so after Infinity War trying all these new modes, Spec Ops was a success, but not a major success, nowhere near as big as Zombies, no one would go, oh my god, have you seen the next game, Modern Warfare 3, it's got survival in it, it's got Spec Ops in it, uh, it wouldn't be like that. They'd be like, "Yeah, it's got spec ops in it. Yeah, I might play a bit of that, just to you know pass the time." But zombies would be like, "Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! It's zombies!" So you can see it's quite different, and a lot of people are more excited for zombies than they are these other modes. So Ghost tries something new, Extinction. It's got modern weapons, more realistic, a realistic team, or as I said, supernatural weapons in zombies. So it doesn't really link at all. And zombies is like infinite rounds, whereas. Uh, Extinction is like you have to do it by progression. You can actually finish the game, and then it's quite boring. You're like, why would I play that map again? I've already played it. I mean, yes, you can get teeth and stuff, but it's pretty boring. So, Extinction, I like it. They're going somewhere, especially with DLC 2, and I think DLC, DLC 3 should be great. But it's not anywhere near as good as Zombies. So, I mean, even the worst Zombies map would probably still be about 10 times better than the best map on Extinction. It's just the way it works. So I do like the idea of aliens, but when I actually saw what the aliens were, they were pretty boring. They're like these little cats with claws and you know, a bit sharp. When you think of an alien as a big green thing, so there's a bit of a fail there. But I like the idea of Extinction. I like where they're going with it. And I think they're going to be very successful in the future, in the DLC, and in the next game as well. So then, we can't have aliens or 
if we do have aliens, they have to be completely different. We can't have zombies, what can we have in this third mode? Well, there's actually a lot of different theories, and I, I think, personally, I've come up with some new ideas I don't think I've seen anywhere else. If I have, not as advanced as this, or n not as the same as this, you know, it's completely different. So here are my di ideas, guys. Here we go. So the first idea that a lot of people come up with and a lot of people will take into is dinosaurs. Now you may be thinking, okay, how the hell are you going to get dinosaurs? This is 2048 here, and you're talking about dinosaurs which existed around 230 million years ago, and then went extinct about 65 million years ago. Now you may be wondering, why did you remember that? I didn't, I just stopped to look it up. But anyway, so they're around a long time, and you may be thinking, well that's not a long time. But if you think about having to wait that long at school, it's a long time. So, dinosaurs were around a long, long time ago. And it's ridiculous to think that they can be in the future. However, there are some actually quite sane ideas. For example, what if, if you see on the one of the walls, guys, in the trailer, I might put it up on the screen, there's a guy walking past a wall which says Biolab, and they have to treat, retrieve or destroy some information about this Biolab. So this biology lab is very likely to have future medicine, development and stuff like that. It's also, it could have all different things, animals and all different things. But in this lab, imagine this, what if they could genetically modify some kind of animal, some kind of DNA, some kind of cell? Or what if they could, you know, look after, synthetically look after this dinosaur egg or something like that, I don't know how they get it, they could make one, they could get one from somewhere, they could change it, like I said, it genetically modifies DNA, if you want to know anything I'm talking about and you don't know, you can look it up guys anytime, but yeah, so they could do anything like that, so that could explain one thing, and then, I don't know, some, you know, cliche experiment could go wrong, and they could all escape everywhere, so, you know, that's basically like Nightfall in Extinction, uh, where the creatures get out, so it could be like that. That could be one thing, and if you guys don't know, if you, if you guys think, okay, why could it be dinosaurs? Well, what about this? Look at the screen now, guys. You're looking at a picture or a video of an IED, and what does it say on it? It says playful secrets with a picture of a dinosaur and the word playful secrets. Now, what could playful secrets mean? Well, it obviously means there's some kind of tease that they're doing. Now, this could be for extinction, but I doubt there'll be dinosaurs in it because it's about aliens. You won't have two different you know, organisms like that, they're too different, so I don't think that's going to be likely. Now, the other thing it could be is teasing the next game, where have we seen this before? So go so it could be ghosts teasing about something about advanced warfare, where have we seen this before? Well, in Black Ops 2, in the last DLC called Origins, you may remember, guys, who, anyone who's playing, I'm sure a lot of you have, you may remember the robots' names, Thor, Freya, and I think one called, like, Loki or Odin or something like that. Um, anyway, those robots are names of Indian... Nor gods and these gods, some of their names was in ghosts. For example, Odin, Lo uh, o yeah, Odin and Loki and stuff like that. So that kind of teased it. And there's other stuff as well, like in Buried. Um, one of the quotes that Misty or Missy or whatever her name is says, the girl character, she says something about Riley. Uh, you know, saying something as if she was talking to an animal or a dog, because Riley's a dog in Ghost. So. There's no, all those kind of teasers, so I don't know, but it, those are teasers, this could be a tease as well, so it, it could be that. But judging by the fact that this game revolves a lot around exoskeleton suits, which are kind of these, it's copy of this exoskeleton, you know, um, form or structure, which is basically we see on certain insects. By that, and we also got other stuff like the certain hover dirt bike thing that we see in the Advanced Warfare trailer. It's a bit like some kind of hornet or wasp or thing, if you see it, it does look a bit like that. So, all these things are revolving around insects, or, you know, some of them at least. And so, what could we see in the next mode? It could be insects. Now, either they could get giant, they could be kind of n bigger than normal, they could be normal size, or that would be ridiculous trying to take a pistol and shoot a tiny little ant or something. But I guess if this would be a mode, it would be like a, there'd be giant creatures either from some cliche, horrible experiment going wrong again. It could be, I don't know, anything. It could be like... The, they had something, they absorbed something, they ate something, and it made them get large. I don't know, it could be anything. And they could be roaming around the city, and, you know, or whatever, and you could have to destroy them. That would be quite an awesome mode. I'd like to see that, where you could go into these hives. Not copying Extinction at all, but going into these hives and stuff. I think that would be pretty damn awesome. So it could be that. It could be cyborgs and robots, because the whole game is about technology and, and stuff like that and it could be some kind of virus or something that attacks these suits and I've seen this theory quite a lot so I could it could be that but cyborgs would be quite boring can you think you know fighting against robots it I mean it, it kind of looks all right like cyborg zombies looks okay which is the China Call of Duty 
online version, like Chinese version of Call of Duty. So we definitely did see that. So it has actually been a thing in certain Call of Duties, but it's not available everywhere. It's only available in China called Call of Duty Online. If you guys want to check that out, you can also do that. But um, yeah, so it's quite an awesome mode, um, but I would say zombies are still better. So cyborgs would be okay, but not the best. I mean, you could all do all different things like, I don't know, like, you could, like I said, viruses could attack these suits, make them be bad, and you could be fighting against them. So that's just one suggestion, though, so it could be anything, really. Um, and the last thing is that I'd like to actually see like some speckles or something alongside the game and you may be thinking why on earth would they do that but I mean in Ghost we had four modes we had squads, multiplayer, campaign and extinction so in this mode we could have campaign, multiplayer, blah blah mode for example insects, bugs or you know cyborgs or a dinosaur mode and then we could have speckles mode or you know where we could have some speckles missions or some like survi like survival on the multiplayer maps or something like that. I don't know. Pretty awesome. The reason why it could be Spec Ops as well is like if you think about it. Or actually, here's another little thought. I've literally just had this now. If you're playing right, the whole game revolves around the city quite a lot as well. And that's another thing that revolves around. So if it's revolving around the city, it'd be awesome to have a Call of Duty themed like GTA 5 world. I don't know that. I think that'd be pretty awesome. Like if you're just roaming around this small city, it doesn't have to be big at all. You can do different objectives and, and activities and stuff, that'd be pretty awesome. Or you could do Spec Ops missions, yeah, that'd be awesome, like, roaming around the world in a Call of Duty, like a small city, wherever they're based. And, um, you can go around, you can do different activities, like GTA, but Call of Duty version, that'd be pretty awesome to see. And then you could, like, stumble on something, it'd be, you could start up a Spec Ops mission, that'd be really awesome, I'd love to see that, so that'd be a cool thing. So it'd be nice to see some kind of Spec Ops mode alongside the series, but that's maybe asking too, too much, so I'd like to see the third mode, definitely, to be something like Dinosaurs or Insects, that'd be my top two. Cyborgs would be my third, but it doesn't seem anywhere near as exciting. So I hope you guys have enjoyed. Let me know what you think of this. If you get any of your own ideas, let me know. I probably would have put some zombies gameplay over the top, just because I've got a lot of it recorded, and because it's a popular mode. So I hope you guys do enjoy. Let me know what you think, and if you've got any of your own ideas, I'd love to hear them as well. I reply to every single comment. You can also guys go and follow me on Twitter for the latest news and stuff like that, to follow, find out when I'm doing videos and stuff. That's really important. If you guys want to be in any videos, that's helpful as well. But thanks, guys, and I'll see you in my next video.